Good day viewers, welcome back to another video. Uh, a little while ago I showed you some copper bus bars that are coated in silver and I gave you guys the option uh, how you wanted me to, to treat them. Uh, I had a lot of feedback which is great, thank you so much for everybody who put your opinions in. And I was bas basically uh, faced with two main options. One of them was a combination of sulfuric acid and nitric acid and the other one was salt water reverse electroplating and I've got both and I could do both but I know that most of my viewers have trouble getting nitric acid or it's too expensive or they just don't like using acids and would like to know a better way of doing it and a lot of the videos I've done on reverse electroplating and um, removing silver with, with bleach and things like that. They're pretty popular videos. So I've chosen to use salt water, no vinegar this time. And what I did was I put quite a bit of salt in the bottom. I don't think there's a special amount you need, but I wanted it to be really, really concentrated. Uh, I used hot water to try and dissolve it and stirred it as best I could. There was just a tiny bit left in the bottom that didn't dissolve, which is good, because then I know it's totally concentrated. Uh, I've got a power supply from a computer, hooked up to 12 volt, stainless steel knife, and the power supply going to the bus bar, which I've got suspended on skewers, so that the um, solution and the electricity can get all around it and when I need to turn it over, there's holes at the other end, I can just replace the holes and have this part in the solution. So <clears throat> I'm going to turn on the power supply now and there you go. There's a pretty strong reaction and it already looks like it's been stripped. Jeez, look how quick that was. I will leave it in here for just a few minutes. Although now it looks like copper's going in the solution, so I'm amazed at how quick that was. That was unreal. Right, so, I'll swap it over. The best thing about this method is there's no uh, dangerous ke fumes, chemicals, uh, I, can, I don't need gloves. Uh, I'm just going to get a toothbrush and just give this a bit of a clean. Probably just went a fraction too long because you can see all the copper in the solution now. It shouldn't be that orangey colour. Now I'm thinking that this, the coating is maybe not as thick as I once thought. I cannot believe it took that fast. It came off that fast. Alright, so now I can swap it over like that. And put one through there. It's a bit slippery now, I don't want to drop it and break my beaker. One through there and connect it back up again. Wow, that is one good reaction. I think this is going to be done very fast. Going by that. Have a look and see how it's going. Yeah, a bit longer, and I'm guessing that um, as the time goes on, it will take longer. Probably because it was uh, such clean water to start with that it was so quick the first time. And uh, let's 
give it a few minutes. There's no point in needlessly uh, dissolving copper. I could see a slight film, a white film on the copper, which told me there was still a little bit of silver left to go. Let's see how it is now. There we go, it's all done. So let's give it a bit of a clean, and I do need to get some water to rinse it off with, which I uh, didn't have ready, I should have been more prepared. Uh, we'll just suspend this in the solution for a second while I go and get some water sorted. These bus bars are quite heavy. The last thing I'll do is smash my beaker. It's a brand new beaker. Uh, you still see a film on there, but it is a red film. Um, I'm, I'm pretty sure that there would be no silver left on there. So it's a slightly milky sort of residue, um, but that's okay. All right, so I'll be back in a second, I'll get some water. Okay, so I've got a quite a big square Tupperware container with water in there and now I can take them out and place them in there give them a scrub get all the residue off um, I had hoped for this to be a nice clean solution free of copper um, but it's not the case so uh, now I'll take this out. Put this in the water. And just give it a bit of a rinse and see how it's looking. I know you can't see it, but I'm just giving a bit of a wipe down in the clean water. I'll show you in a second what it looks like. Yeah, I've definitely got all the silver off. So there we go, nice clean copper, and this is heavy. I would have liked more silver on there, but maybe it's just very effective because I've got such a concentrated amount of salt in there. So, all right, so I can put that there and I'll start some more. <sighs> Now, what I didn't do is take off the tungsten on some of these. So these here, I'm pretty sure is tungsten. I tried to heat this up with a torch and it didn't want to melt, didn't want to come off. Um, that's how it came. So it looks like with a hole there that they've put something in and a different metal, it's not copper, obviously there's just the copper there, they drilled a hole, they've inserted something in there, and this is the top, top of it. Now someone did suggest I remove, if that is tungsten, um, but I haven't done that, I probably should, but uh, I'm just going to take a chance. So I don't need to suspend that because that's um, touching the bottom. Right, so we'll see how this goes. I probably should have removed the tungsten, but I'm just going to give it a go. I don't think it would be that big a problem. I actually have a different project at the moment which I'm told is tungsten. Can you see all the black coming down? And, and that's only coming from that area. So yeah, I have a, a project at the moment from something which I am led to believe is tungsten and I don't know how to dissolve tungsten. Maybe I've just found a way, I don't know, but if anybody is uh, 
definitely sure they know how to dissolve tungsten if they could let me know because somebody has given me what they claim to be some tungsten with gold on it from uh, the pro processes of a mining uh, recovering gold or something and it doesn't look to me like it's got gold on it but they want me to test it to see and I wanted to dissolve the tungsten leaving behind what they said was gold and uh, I don't know how so hopefully this is a good way of doing it alright so I must have touched the stainless steel knife with the copper because the power supply is turned off uh, as you can see the reaction has stopped I think maybe the power board's tripped. One second while I go and have a look. Here we go, it's back on again. Yeah, I must have shorted it out. When I lifted this uh, bus bar out of the solution, it looked as though there was still a tiny bit of milky residue on it. So we'll leave it in there for just a few minutes longer. Now, this is not um, a procedure I've done a lot of. I've done it a few times, but not, not a lot. Um, so I'm kind of making it up as I go along, I guess. Uh, I assume that once I'm finished and I've done all the copper and let it settle I'm, I'm guessing that all of this copper, silver, everything should settle to the bottom um, leaving just the salty water I doubt very much that it's actually dissolving into solution I, and I just cannot imagine that that would be the case I really reckon that it's just going to settle to the bottom and I hope so anyway because that would be definitely an easier way to recover the silver after. I'll give this a clean in the water because it looks to me like it's finished but since that solution is so dirty it's hard to tell. Um, I've got the tripod a tiny little tripod on my GoPro which I'm starting to use to see how, if that's any better than using my head cam uh, head brace or waist brace so that's why I'm doing this in, out, of, out of view of the camera so for that so that's what it looks like now you can see a definite line where the silver is um, it might still just have the smidgenous little bit of silver on there but I'm happy to, to leave it there for now and turn it upside down and do the other side and I'm a bit worried about whether or not that this tungsten is going to make a difference or not but I guess when I dissolve the residue in nitric acid it would sort that out anyway if that is tungsten or whatever it is I'm assuming it won't matter a whole lot because uh, at the end of the day I just want to drop the silver with copper um, so it shouldn't really matter but anyway we'll see if not it's uh, a learning thing for me uh, yeah. we all learn all the time alright so I'll put that down in that way Making sure not to touch the stainless steel knife. I cannot believe how fast this is happening. 
normally when I use salt and vinegar I only use like a tablespoon of salt and because I think that the, the the vinegar is also like, like kind of salty if you, if you know what I mean but in this case I put about half a cup of salt in um, it barely dissolved all of it it was that rich so uh, I'd say it's very um, responsive to the, the power uh, I don't want to ramble on but same time there's no fun sitting there watching something quietly so if it uh, had taken longer like I had thought it was going to I thought it might take five or ten minutes each way I was going to do a uh, time lapse but clearly I don't think that's going to need to be the case So while I'm waiting, how's everyone been? I hope you're all well. I hope you're all having fun scrapping and refining and doing what, whatever you do. <coughs> I um, was looking at my analytics, which is, for those who don't know, uh, basically tells me how many people watch my ch channel, etc and I still have 70% of people who are watching my videos are not subscribed so may I ask please if you're watching my video and if you like my content can you please subscribe and also hitting that like button tells YouTube that you like my videos they're less likely to refer me to people if they don't know people like my videos by hitting that sub, that like button it tells uh, YouTube that people like my videos and then I'm more likely to turn up in a search engine um, be referred to people as other videos they might like to watch based on their on their uh, watch history etc so it would mean a lot to me I'm trying to get my channel to build and I need you guys' help. I'm just giving this a wash. I'm wondering if I'm going to need to make several batches because of how dirty the solution is. So you can see now that it still seems to have a silver tinge to it as opposed to the copper here you can see the difference in color and even up here it still seems to have silver compared to that copper so i think i'm going to need to well that was eventful i was sitting here and all of a sudden there was a loud crack uh the power supply um yeah it, it went crack and i think there's a little bit of a brown stain in my jocks uh, it really scared the crap out of me, I'm telling you. It was loud. It's like, Jesus, what the hell was that? So, uh, I don't know if this... Uh, I don't think that the co copper has touched the knife. It looks to me like it hasn't. Maybe the solution is too concentrated. Um, maybe I left it on too long. It's only been on five minutes. Um... I don't know what it was, but the power supply just went kabang. And uh, I've got plenty of them. I've got at least 10 stored away for this reason. But they're outside and it's night time at the moment. So I'm going to have to sort out another one tomorrow. and uh, Which means I'm going to have to carry this on tomorrow. I can't do much more tonight. We'll have a look and see how this is looking. It's very hot very hot oh 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 that's hot oh I must have lifted on too long I would have thought that it would be like when you're doing gold with the reverse electroplating once the gold has removed then the bubbles and the reaction stops and I thought that would be the same case with the silver 
um, that the silver would just plate off and then the reaction would stop. It doesn't seem to be the case. Um, I'm giving it a clean now, I can't really show you as I do it because I'm using two hands, so just bear with me for a second. The copper is nice and clean now, so uh, it's definitely finished, I'll show you now. Alright, so the copper looks really nice and clean now. I don't know what this is, if that's silver there or not, but I can't see how it could be. Um, that square This one here, I think might be tungsten that one there could be silver. It might be a solid block of silver It kind of looks the same color as silver um, I may have to grind this off and Investigate just play with those do some experiments and see what I can come up with and uh, I think before I continue with any more of these I will grind all these off uh, just for the sake of it that side I think needs to go back in again you can see now clearly the difference between this copper and that end so there's definitely still some silver to go off there um, that one there is all clean so I uh, can't do any more now let this sit and settle and uh, carry on tomorrow. I've got I've got a few that are like this without the tungsten. I've got a, so about three or four of those. And I've got one of these ones here. It's only got a little bit of silver on that end. And then it's got what's probably tungsten here. But this end doesn't need to go in. There's a hole through there that I can put a, a skewer to suspend this into the solution like that just get this bit of silver off um, but I plan on using these to either drop silver from solution or to put in my stock pot uh, so I will grind this part off uh, I don't want to contaminate my stock pot with anything I don't know what it is and I might just try and dissolve these in nitric just this part here the end bit in nitric acid until all the copper's gone and see what's left or see if this goes before the copper uh, if anyone can tell me it would be much easier than me wasting acid does somebody know what this is is it tungsten or what it is um, again there's a little square section here which is more silver than the rest of it the rest of it's all black just like these ones here but this one I showed you that I started see how that see how that square is nice and silver color and then it's black either side it really looks to me when you look at it from that angle that this could be a little block of silver um, solid silver anyway all right so I can't do much more now and uh, I'll, I'll come back tomorrow when I get started again and hopefully by then this will have settled out and we can see what we're dealing with. I might have to go and get some more salt, make a new batch because that's pretty dirty. Although it'll probably just end up the same. Maybe once all the solution has settled, I might be able to pour off nice clean salty water to keep using. That is really hot. I can't believe how, how loud the crack was. Now, I know that there's a glass fuse inside the power supply. If it was my only one, I would be tempted to just try and put a new fuse in. But I keep power supplies for this reason. Um, they're always handy to have. So I'll just wire up a new one tomorrow. I'll see you back tomorrow when I continue. I was just checking the fuse because I have a fuse holder in the power line um, for this reason and look what it did to the fuse 
you should be able to see the filament in between those two prongs so you can tell if the filament is broken or not it completely melted the plastic and I've never seen a fuse look like that before I'm guessing it also broke the glass fuse inside the power supply because I don't know how this could have made a crack noise like it did so this is a 40 amp fuse I've got plenty of these so I'll put a new one in tomorrow and see if it fixes the problem and if it doesn't then I know that the fuse inside here has gone and I'll just uh, open it up and have a look just for curiosity to see if any of the circuit board is it's the next day and the solution has settled quite nicely it's uh, very clear there's a lot of sediment down the bottom it looks like it would be copper I can't see that being silver but I, I don't know I'm hoping that is not all copper it would be nice if it's just uh, stained silver from the copper so anyway what I'm going to do is I'm going to filter this so I can get my nice clean salt water back and catch all that sediment in a filter I may need to do this a few times with all the bits and pieces as I do them uh, so I'll start filtering it and I'm getting another power supply ready at the, at the moment and once I get that sorted I'll be able to start running some more through so I'm trying to carefully put the, the water through first without stirring up too much sediment so it doesn't block my filter up and then just put the sediment through last and I should be left with nice clean salty water again hopefully all right so it's the next day and I spent all day filtering that solution I had really nice clean clear salty water and I got a little part of crap in there plus another filter and I couldn't believe it I put this in the, in the water got it ready while I watched Bering Sea Gold and then I was going to continue and as soon as it went in the water I saw the silver grey colour stuff come off and I thought oh cool must be some residual silver you remember I scrubbed these with a, uh, with a toothbrush in some fresh water so there shouldn't have been anything to come off and then after about five or ten minutes I noticed all this orange sediment started coming off there hasn't been any more since so it must have been just loose that was on there but I was positive I cleaned it up really well you know, I cut the piece off with what I thought might be tungsten and uh, it's time to carry on I don't know how well you can see all this still trying to get used to this tripod all right so it shouldn't need long so the end that's in there now is the part if you remember yesterday I said oh, I just needs a tiny bit more on one end and I've replaced the fuse that had blown so I don't know for sure if it's going to work find out in a second I've uh, grabbed a new power supply that other power supply definitely cooked itself so this one's turning on there's a big moment now yep it's working No, fans just turned off. And it's back on again. So I shouldn't need very long, I'll just give it a minute or two. 
I hope this one doesn't go bang like the last one. Jeez, that gave me a fright. Let's see how that looks. I've only got it sitting on two bamboo skewers because I didn't want the whole thing down in in the solution. I want to minimise how much copper is being dissolved. It looks like there's a lot more to come off yet. Jeez, I made this hard for myself. everything okay? I don't know. I'm putting this power supply away from me in case it goes bang like the last one. got the, uh, the reason I'm not sitting the bus bar all the way down into the solution obviously so that the solution can get all the way around it. If some of it was sitting on the bottom of the beaker then yeah, it might not get done on the bottom. So this way I'm suspending it. I might just do it in small doses because last night it got really hot it's probably why it went bang. I'm paranoid because of the way I've got it sitting on these two bamboo skewers if it drops off it's going to go straight and smash my beaker there's no other way of doing it unless I put these skewers up the top here and I don't want all that copper down in the solution it doesn't need to be so Just hoping it doesn't drop off. I'd like to use a paddle pop stick or something, but I don't have any. Just give that a few more minutes. There was a lot of orange sediment, and I mean a lot, probably. Uh, probably close to two inches definitely one inch but probably close to two inches of orange sediment that had settled in the bottom of the beaker overnight and I can only assume that that's copper down in the fresh water from where I was washing the copper last night you probably can't tell now but in the daylight I could see a grey sediment down the bottom of there. So that's more looking promising, more like silver. I dare say there's going to be a lot of copper being dissolved when I go to um, process this. At the moment I'm just recovering silver from silver coated copper um, without acid, but once this is finished, I am then going to have to process it, which means using nitrate. So there'll be two parts to this video. And for those who don't like using acid, the recovery part would probably suit you guys. But unfortunately, the only way I know of to then purify it is to dissolve it in nitric acid or maybe sulfuric, which is just as bad, if not worse. Um, someone who gets to this stage could, if they wanted to, just melt 
the sediment but you would not have clean copper by any means I mean clean silver sorry you would have a very 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 contaminated silver based on how orange the sediment is so let's give it a little bit longer and I'll check it I'm getting excited about going prospecting I'm getting my camper trailer ready getting all my camping gear ready making sure my detectors are charged up and got all the bits and pieces that I need and uh, organising things like first aid kits and got my EPIRB my two-way radios, handheld radios, snake bite kits. Since we've got the, I think it's nine of the ten deadliest snakes in Australia. All right, let's see how this is going. Give us a rinse and the scrub. I know you guys can't see, but just bear with me. Now it's looking better now. It's definitely uh, more of a copper colour. There might still be tiny bits yet to come off, but for the most part, it's looking good. Just give it a little bit more scrub and then I'll show you. And I'll definitely be happy with just leave it like this because otherwise I'm just dissolving too much copper. Alright, so that's the half I just did. See, there's a little bit of black on there still, but for the most part, then I'm happy with that. So, I'll put that there. This time I'm going to do this little one, and I'm hoping uh, I might need to put some more water in to raise it up because I, I want to use that hole there with a skewer and have it submerged. So, I'll do that now. I'll get the uh, turn this around for you to see better. Put the skewer through and top it up with some distilled water, which I've got here. So all the silver is under the solution. it back up and we'll see what happens. And I don't want it to touch the stainless steel. So this is how it looks in the morning. Yesterday was a lot clearer. All that was clear, crystal clear. I don't know why today's any different but there was uh, also a lot more sediment in the bottom yesterday, but that's still quite a bit. I think the black stuff on top is from where I washed the knife with the, the toothbrush. It, it get all that brown stuff stuck to it and it just wipes off. So now I'm gonna filter this, add that to my filters get my nice salt water back again and later on we can carry on this is going to take a while I may uh, oh, I was going to say I may even make up two batches of salt water but I've only got one power 
So this is how nice and clean the water comes out. It's uh, 4.30 in the afternoon, I still haven't even got down to the sediment yet. I'm only just doing the water on top. And I'm using the filter from yesterday that wasn't really full because it's already choked up so it's going to stop a lot of the sediment and just even the dirty water from going through, that's why it's nice and clean. But it's taking so long so once this gets down, once that's gone, I'm going to put a new filter paper in there and then get ready to put all the sediment in so that tonight I can go to the third one try again it's going to take a few days I think ok so that's still filtering it's the last lot but uh, I didn't make it through in time and I'm ready to start filming so I've uh, poured what has been filtered into this beaker and I'll set this one up I'll move this one aside okay I think you can see that okay time to turn it on there we go I didn't get to have the silver thing very far down because there's nowhere else to put the skewers except for the holes up here and then that would be touching the bottom and I didn't want that so because otherwise underneath the bus bar might not get any solution because they'll be sitting on the bottom I don't know how I did it the first time round seemed to be better than that but anyway we'll go with that for a few minutes and see how that goes I don't even seem to get it balancing right now this time. I don't know what I did last time. What's it looking like now? See, that was quick. I'll see if I can. Now that the bottom should be right, I can lower it down, I suppose. It seems to go very fast when it's a clean solution. Can't see why that makes any difference. It's still got the salt in there for the electrolyte. But um, once that's gone through, I've only got three this size, the little ones. I hope this isn't going to take three more days. It's nice and clean so far. I don't see any orange sediment that I've been getting, which is a good thing. The solution's a bluey, greeny colour. See how that's looking. Yeah, it's looking like it's almost done. A little bit longer. Oh, the fan stopped. I must have uh, hit the knife by accident or something. having a spaz attack now, it doesn't want to work it didn't blow up though when I turn the switch off for a bit and then turn it back on the fan moves a little bit and then stops so what I'll do is I'll give it just a second rest while I take this out and brush it down in the fresh water maybe, just maybe the silver's already come off and therefore there's nothing for it to work which is uh would be, would be a nice positive. I know you can't see what I'm doing, but only be a second. I can still see a little bit of silver residue on there. I'll show you in just a sec. If I was using my chest cam or head cam, you'd be able to watch, but such is life. 
Alright, so it's still got some residue on there. It's not as clean as I thought. Alright, so let's put that back there. It's unusual the, the colour of the, of the water tonight. There's no orange. What I'm going to do is put this back on the skewers in case that's got somehow got something to do with it. I don't, know, I don't see how, but probably just didn't like being on the bottom. Now, yeah, where did the negative go? Oh, positive, I mean, there it is. Uh, I haven't turned it on yet. Right, let's turn it on and see what happens. There we go, it's working. Maybe it just needed a bit of a rest. <coughs> There's no fumes with this, like that's what I like about it. Isn't it? It's just salt water. So no odour, no fumes. Maybe now that it's working properly, I should lower it down. Now let's give it a bit longer there because there still was some residue, so that means underneath the copper would still be some residue. Now that the fire restrictions are over, tomorrow I've got to get my little fire pit happening. Uh, I've got some videos to make that involve um, car incinerating IC chips and VGA chips and so on. So tomorrow's going to be a full day. I wanted to try and get this knocked over tonight, but it doesn't look like I see the solution starting to go orange. I'll lower it down now. Careful not to let it touch. All good so far, still going. The fan slowed down for a second, but it didn't stop. And that's a good sign. The beak is the exact same size, I don't understand. Last time I'm sure I put the skewers through these holes. It can't be. They're both the same sort of beaker. It's got me beat. It's about as exciting as watching paint dry. Yeah, the video that I'm making tomorrow is going to be very informative. Uh, I hope it doesn't, but I think it's going to upset a few people, or at least one. But there's going to be a lot of people that will gain from it. Because, uh, I'll give you a spoiler alert, it's uh, another video where I point out someone who's telling fibs. And so that's it's a two-part video. One of them is pointing out the untruth that's being said. And the other part of the video is me actually proving it. Well, that, that's the plan. Whether or not it goes to plan is another thing. That's all I can tell you is a bit of a sneak preview. Spoiler alert, whatever. Um, before it goes to plan, there'll be a lot of happy people and maybe one, one unhappy person. But it's his own fault because I've been in discussion, I've been in discussion, listen to me, I've been in discussions with him, I had it right the first time, and uh, informed him of his mistake, I'm calling it a mistake, but just being politically correct and he hasn't seemed to have changed his ways he still wants to say the wrong thing so 
so I feel it's only my duty to out him because I don't want my viewers being misinformed. So let's see how this is going. Uh, I'm going to give that a bit of a rinse off. Apologise that you can't see what's going on. It's looking better. Still got a tiny bit of silver on there, but I'm going to let that ride. It's not enough to really worry about. The solution's already dirty enough, and I've still got to do the other side of this one yet. So it's uh, looking definitely cleaner. Than what it was, so now I'll do this end. Uh, and we're going to do this, I'm going to have to balance this under there like I did last night. I move it away from that knife and gently put this on. Uh, the fan stopped again. Uh, well, just give it a couple of seconds. It didn't seem to like being moved. I know it's not touching the knife. It's tilting away from the knife. So can't be that. Last time it just needed, what, what 10 seconds or something. I'll try again. No. Nope. Alright, I'll just pause the camera and turn it back on when it starts working. Okay, so what I did was I uh, took the knife out, gave the knife a clean, and started working again. I took the knife out again and I turned it upside down, got a better connection on it, and uh, it seems to be working now, as you can see fizzing away. I've got the end that hasn't been done down into the solution now. I'm going to leave it in there for a while and when it looks like it's well done I'll try and put this end back in because there's still some silver on there. Um, do both ends again, leave it in a bit longer this time. I'd say the very first one was so reactive but now that the solution's dirty it's uh going to take longer. Alright, so I'll put this back in and just leave it for a few minutes. That solution looks pretty yucky now. Quite a, few, quite a few videos on the go at the moment. I'm trying to pump them out for you guys. Uh, the problem is some of them are taking a while because there's things like AP involved, which you know, is like a week or two that I can't do anything. So I, I, I knock out one or two fast ones in the meantime while I'm waiting for the slow ones. And uh, pretty soon I'm going to be going prospecting into the gold fields. Uh, I think it's in about three weeks time. And I might be gone for anything up to two weeks, depending on how good the gold is. Somewhere between a week and two weeks. I've allowed a month in case it's really good if I'm finding tons of gold. But uh, I don't want to be away from you guys too long. I don't want you to think I've deserted you. So uh, try and put some content up before I go so that you've got a few things to watch. So I might let that continue for a little while. And I'll come back um, after I've done a few. 
and you're going to do several on this one, so it should be uh, done pretty quick. Just give it a few minutes. <coughs> it's a shame that the uh, water is so dirty now, you can't really see what's going on. Can't believe I had it so clean, and then now it's just gone back to this yellow orangey color again. Okay, so I got a pretty tall beaker um, because this is in such a uh, finely divided state. Uh, tiny little particles that could easily flare up and want to want to overflow. So big beaker, distilled water. I'll put all these into there. And uh, stir rod, what little bit of it's left, because I broke it. Put it in there. And I'll put it in the catch pan in case it overflows. would normally put it on heat but I'm going out in an hour and in my luck I'd forget that I even had it on so I'm not going to take the chance I'll just uh, sit it like that plus being such fine particles it's already going to react um, I'd rather wait until it's had overnight to sort of settle down a bit and then put some heat on it tomorrow and see how that goes Alright, so now I'm going to put a squirt of nitric acid. That should be plenty for now. Put a lid on it. And just let it rest. I'm not expecting a, a big reaction right now. Which is good because if it did, there's not much I could do about it. Okay, so now I'm just going to let it sit overnight and check on it in the morning. Okay, it's the next day and I've put it on heat. So, uh, as you can see, it's reacting quite nicely. And dissolving all the stuff that's in the foils and the, the filter paper. And I just gave it a stir to make sure it's, because a lot of it was all floating on top. So I mixed it all up. Shouldn't be long now. Might even put this back in. Just dunk it in quickly to get that last bit of silver. And this one here, looks like it's still got a bit of silver on it. The bottom end of it's nice and clean. And then this in here looks like it's got silver on it still. So once all the silver's dissolved, we'll be able to drop it and see what we get. Okay, uh, all the solution has been in this beaker with some of those bus bars. I picked a couple that looked like they still had silver on and I put them in there. And all the silver that is in solution has been cementing out on those bus bars. And it looks like there's quite a nice little layer of cement silver at the bottom. There must have been quite a bit of free nitric because going by the dark colour of the blue, I'd say it's also started dissolving a lot of copper before it started to cement. I don't know how well you can see, if you can see at all, but there's a, a bus bar there that even gets aside. It's got quite a bit of cement silver all over it. And uh, down here there's a thick layer of silver. So I'm just going to leave that for a few more days until uh, I'm sure that it's all stopped. And uh, then we can wash the cement silver and melt it. Alright, so I've pretty much finished uh, filtering the silver solution and what's down the bottom now there's some liquid there but there's also the 
the sediment and if I try and put this liquid in to the filter all the sediment goes with it I'm trying to get it where I can show you but I just want to play the game it's all under there anyway so what I plan on doing now is using the, the kettle to put hot water in there to wash it um, it will dilute the green colour to get lighter and lighter and they'll be able to see the sediment so as I pour it off I'll know when to stop and uh, keep washing it with hot water until I see no colour in there and then I should be able to go through the next process of putting, boiling it in hydrochloric acid etc we'll show you that when we get there but for now I'm boiling the kettle so I can wash this and that there I am pretty sure there's no more silver in there but I will check I'm going to put a little bit into a beaker and drop some hydrochloric acid in there to see if it goes milky if it does then I'll put one of these bus bars back in there and continue dropping silver if it doesn't show any, any silver in solution then it's ready for my stock pot so these are the two things I'm working on at the moment I rinsed this about seven times uh, to make sure that I've got all remnants of uh, um, nitric acid out of there. Now the last rinse it got clear and I gave it one more just to make sure. So now you can see the sediment at the bottom and you can see that it's, it's not silver colour, it's like orange dirt. That's uh, copper. There's a lot of copper involved in that. Uh, each time I try and pour it out um, the copper wants to escape but which would be a good thing however I don't know if there's silver trying to mix with it or not so basically what I'm going to do now is pour this liquid off and I'm going to put some hydrochloric acid in there and give it a boil and hopefully try and consume that copper hydrochloric acid doesn't do a really good job of it but it does dissolve some so I hope to try and get rid of it and then even if I need to I might pour that hydrochloric acid off and then put some more in there and just keep washing it that way to try and get rid of some of that copper so I'll do that now okay hydrochloric acid in just let it boil for a while probably an hour then let it settle and uh, see what color the sediment is and if I need to pour that off and put new stuff in or whether it's okay Okay, so you can see it's gone all discolored. The hydrochloric acid will not harm the, the uh, silver. So that means for it to go discolored, it's obviously dissolved something in solution. My guess is the copper. It's been boiling like that, a nice rolling boil for an hour now. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take it off the heat, let it settle, pour off the liquid, rinse it a few times, until it's clear and then start again I'll put some more hydrochloric acid in there boil it again and I'm going to keep doing that until it's clean even though it's going to be uh, used in my silver cell and it won't matter too much if it's impure I'd rather not have it really 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 badly contaminated I'll try and get it as clean as I can so I'll do that now so while my silver is being cleaned um, just want to show you this guy here, Silverstall. He's a fairly new guy. I came across him about a week ago. He's pumping out videos almost every day. Uh, I hope he doesn't run out of ideas really fast. But uh, he's a pretty good bloke. I mean, you know, I've watched his videos. He's learning, so he's making a couple of mistakes. But he's getting there. He seems to have a pretty good gist of it. And... Uh, he, he likes to have feedback, you know, so he can learn from it. Um, so I'm hoping that some of you guys will help him out. He's only uh, just got over like 140 subscribers or something. So after you've hit my subscribe button, maybe you could pop over to his channel and hit his. Uh, help the bloke out, see if you can build his channel a little bit for him. Just don't forget where you found him, come back to my channel. <laughs> So make sure you hit my like button, my subscribe button, and then uh, check his videos out. Cheers. What I'll do is at the end of this video, when you see the links come up, I'll have a link to this guy's channel. 
so you can go and check him out. Um, he is making some really good videos, uh, worth worth having a look at. And uh, yeah, I, I, I uh, liaise with him quite a bit. So there's some uh, quite a few other people. So everyone's helping him. Um, that's how we get better. All right. So uh, back to what I'm doing. So I've rinsed off all the uh, hydrochloric acid and kept rinsing it until it was all clear as you can see and look at that, it's already looking better I don't see any of that orange rubbish that was in there however uh, I want to make sure that I can get it as clean as possible so what I'm going to do is pour off this, this is just water now basically pour that off and I'm going to give it another hydrochloric acid boil and if the hydrochloric acid goes discoloured again I'll know that it's got more contaminants dissolved and I'll rinse that off and I'll just keep doing that until the hydrochloric acid boil is clean and then I'll know I've got my silver powder as clean as I can get it so I'll do that now and the hydrochloric acid from yesterday is working nicely on some chips dissolving the silver, uh, the solder getting rid of any tin I like to use my acids as much as possible until there's nothing left of them. They cost too much to waste. A lot of you already know this, but if you're new to my channel, I uh, find as many ways to use my acid as I can. So, uh, yeah, this is what I'll do. I'll get another uh, hydrochloric acid boil happening now. Well, as you can see, a nice rolling boil happening and it's discolored again, which is good. And just taking more rubbish out so I'll let this cool down I'll take it off and cool it down and then let it settle pour that off wash it off rinse it so on and continue doing that I don't need to show you each time I'm doing it okay I rinsed it again got rid of all the hydrochloric acid and uh, it's looking a lot better I'm happy with that so I'm gonna pour this off dry the silver up and see how much we got yeah, end this video and for people who are still using spray bottles like this they have their place they're good at certain times but I highly recommend you get one of these squeezy bottles with an angled neck so much better than seeing there squeeze 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 for it and half the time these things don't work this is unbelievable. It's really good for squirting and cleaning inside the beakers. Uh, especially when you've got a pile of sediment and you're trying to get it out. You see you can squirt above the sediment and then it, as it comes down it just grabs all the sediment and pulls it out of the beaker. They're, they're awesome. I love them. So anyway, I'll get that dried up and we'll see what we've got. Well, I had the uh, hot plate on a bit too high and it sort of baked hard onto the casserole dish and I've been trying to scrape all this off uh, got a scraper here I've got majority of it up but on the corners where it bends up it's a bit hard so I can't get all of it up and it's all uh, flaky but uh, I broke up most of it so I'll see what I can get for a week um, just take into account a little bit that's still around the edges here shouldn't be too much though okay so I know you probably can't see the numbers but I'll show you I'll move this in a minute once I've got two hands I don't think my little tray is going to be big enough. Might be able to get it all in there. Really nice and gently. I know that there was only a thin coating on the bus bar 
so I'm pretty grateful for whatever I get so according to this 3.59 grams and I guess that's not too bad for a thin coating so there you go guys 3.59 grams it's uh, taken on the purple color which silver does when it's exposed to light and uh, now I'll put it aside until I get a lot more and then melt it all up so I hope you like this video uh, I appreciate everybody watching it if you could hit that like button and subscribe for me to be great and now the link will come up for Silverstyle. I think you should check out his videos. He's pretty good. See you later.